Okay, Lou, so let's talk about lane play, transition, depletion really is what's happening. We're losing oil on the lanes and uh, it's changing every single shot. Um, what are we looking at and what's actually happening out there? You know, as we're bowling, you know, we've got these high performance bowling balls. There's like, they're like magic erasers on the lane. You know, they, they basically, every revolution, the flaring properties of these bowling balls are constantly pulling oil out of the lane. Every foot, every inch, every travel going down down the lane. Not only you, but your opponents, your teammates. Everybody's helping to pull the oil off of the lane. So transition is happening at a much greater rate these days. And we've got to be in tune with it. We've got to be adjusting to it constantly. And if we're not, well, we kind of know what the game looks like. It's safe to say that every shot's changing the lane condition. So you're never really bowling on the same lane condition two shots in a row, much less two games or two tournaments in a row. It's constantly changing. Yeah. Now, we hear sometimes people reference the lane changing, but they think it's carrying down or something's happening with the lane getting pushed down, or the oil getting pushed down the lane. What's actually happening there? Well, the years ago, you know, the idea of carry down, the word, uh, it was applied by the technology that we were using, plastic balls, urethane balls, really non-flaring balls of its time. And that helped to, kind of like a snowplow, pushing that oil further and further away from the front part and redepositing it at the back end. But today, with flaring technology, and balls, you know, flare vastly a great amount, you know, some, some six, seven inches in, in the amounts, that, that orbit of that ball is constantly pulling it away. So as a ball makes one revolution, it finds a new track, a new, a new orbit. And that original orbit is no longer touching the lane. So it's impossible for the oil to get redeposited. So it's no longer called what we consider carry down. It's actually lane breakdown. You know, so, so that's happening. Yeah, so we're losing the, the transition of oil from the front to the back of the lane as much as we're actually just moving oil out of the front of the lane. And where most ball reaction gets lost down lane, we're not seeing as much angle or as much shape. It's not because we're seeing more oil down lane as much as it's we're losing more oil from the front of the lane and we don't have the same shape down lane. Absolutely. The, these bowling balls require a certain amount of stored energy. So we have to have a certain amount of oil in the front part of the lane to store up the energy for it to travel and then release that energy at the right time for it to then make the turn. But if that oil is no longer there or it's happening too soon, the energy is gone. So by the time it gets to that distance where we were used to seeing a curve, it no longer has the energy to make the turn around it. So it's like driving your car, and you're on a bank turn, and then you just turn off the ignition. Well, you lose power steering, you lose capability of, of guiding the car or vehicle around the turn, it becomes very difficult to navigate around it. Bowling balls are really no different. And that's where we have to change. We've got to change equipment, we've got to change our adjustments on the back of the approach so that we're adapting to that ever-changing lane environment all the time. Yeah, you know, and that, that track or, or that area on the lane is very susceptible to, to all this, the surfaces that we use, how aggressive the surface is, and that's instinctive of, you know, if the lane's are oily, you know, bowlers uh, now, they're going to use a lot more surface. So they're going to sand the bowling balls or a deeper grit. And that grade of, you know, surface pulls the oil even faster off the lane. So it's happening every shot, shot after shot. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be important as a bowler to maintain your equipment to make sure you're prepared, but also understand that as that lane's changing shot to shot, you've got to be prepared with either an adjustment back here or an equipment change or some kind of adjustment so that as that lane oil goes away or gets removed, you have to be prepared to, to be successful getting your ball back to the pocket in whatever method you, you choose. Yeah, you know, you can experience a, a, the lane uh, going from a very wet condition to a very medium to dry condition within three games. It, it just happens with the technology that's available to us nowadays. So keep an eye out. Make sure that as you're going through adjustments and understanding as the lane transitions and moves that you're prepared to tackle those ever-changing lane conditions.